Hey coach, what's up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are on week four of the five stages of being a successful private trainer. Now in today's video, it's going to make sense if you've watched the last three videos on YouTube. So if you go to the last three weeks on YouTube, you will see the different titles we have uh, for this series and make sure and watch those before you dig into this because this will not make sense unless you have followed those steps clearly. Now, what we're thinking about here with the schedule is this is really twofold when I talk about your schedule as a private trainer. The first is your daily schedule that you have for your business. This is where personally I really screwed up on for I would say at least seven years of my business. What I would do is I would stay up really late. I would pretend like I was working late at night. I'd sleep in, goof around in the morning, not get on any sales calls. I wouldn't do anything productive. I would probably go to like a random Facebook post. And this is the thing. I know most coaches operate that way. They don't have a clear cut schedule on what the heck they're doing when they wake up in the morning. And when that happens, you become lost, you're going to lose momentum, and ultimately you'll go out of business if you don't have a regimented schedule. So first, you need a personal, I'm just gonna put personal business schedule. That is something that you have to do and stick to. And I will tell you, the most successful coaches I have ever helped, what they do, and this is what I do as well, is before they go to bed, they will write out, boom, 8 a.m., this is what time I'm doing this, 9 a.m., this is what time I'm doing this. Their whole day is scripted out. And even if you have a nine to five job, if you're watching this, you can still do what I'm talking about. All right, you can wake up a little earlier. You can be a little bit more consistent when you get home from work to carve out 30 minutes or 45 minutes of time, but that comes down to a personal business schedule. Now with that, that has to be ironed out. Only you can do that. Then from there, you have a client. So I'm just gonna put client schedule. And with this, this is also something that I struggle with. And I'll give you a funny story. There was a client that I used to train and what would happen was we had our, our sessions that were scheduled at Sunday at 8 a.m. And what would happen was this client, uh, the, the father would text me and be like, on Sunday morning at like 7.50, 10 minutes before the session, they'd be like, hey Ben, we can't come today. And I would already be out there, I'd already have everything set up. And then what I would do, because I was a little snowflake back then, I would be like, oh, okay, no worries. I'll see y'all next week. And then he'd text me back and he'd be like, oh, can we come at 10? And I had another session already scheduled at 10. And I would be like, sure. And then I would text my 10 o'clock session and tell them I needed to go to a different time because I was too accommodating to my client's schedule. And once that happened one time, guess what happened? Every Sunday, guess who texted me 10 minutes before a session? That same guy. That happened like clockwork. And that guy realized he could dominate my schedule. And when I talk about your client schedule here, this means this is your freaking schedule. It's not their schedule. They are going to be abiding by the days that you set for training. And that means that if you only want to train on Saturdays between 3 and 6 p.m., those are the only hours you're going to be offering. If you want to train Monday, Wednesday, Friday between 4 and 8 p.m., those are the only hours that you're going to offer. And personally, I only now train two days a week and that's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And that's the, the schedule I set. If a parent ever texts me, hey Ben, we can't come on Wednesday at four, but can we come on Saturday at midnight? No, you're not gonna do that. And this is where you have to toughen up. And I feel like the easiest way to do this is first, if you are dialed in with your personal business schedule, that keeps you more organized, then this client schedule, that's something that you, as a business owner, dictate. You have to dictate your schedule here. If you don't do that, you're gonna run into the same bull crap I ran into where 
Clients will call you or text you 30 seconds before the session and say, hey, can we go do it at this time? And if you're like me back then, you're like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. They're going to they're gonna run you over every single week and that will cause problems for you because that will get in the way of training more clients or training new clients. That'll screw up your whole schedule. So I want to make sure we think about this. All of the successful coaches I've helped in our mastermind program, I promise you, if you talk to them, they have this ironed out perfectly. This is not an issue because now they know, well, here's my personal business schedule throughout the day. Here's when I am free to actually train clients. I'm going to stick to that. And they don't deviate from that. And that's something I don't want you to deviate from that, but it's all going to start here with the personal business schedule. Now, if you want my free, it's a $97 program. It's our ebook and video series. If you want that for free, go over to iTunes and leave us a review on our podcast. And at this point, you've probably already heard a lot of episodes here on YouTube because we take those and we post them on YouTube as well. But in order to get the free gift, just go over to iTunes, leave that review there. And from there, take a screenshot of the review and send it to me via email or on Instagram. And after that, I will hook you up. That's it for today's video. Make sure and stay tuned for next week. Next week is week five of the five stages. I'll see you.